Hello friend, in this video I will discuss the concept of multicorinity and its steps I will cover under this video. If you come first time at my channel, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for all notifications so that you get easily notification for my latest video. Okay, and you are watching our YouTube channel Economics Online Classes. I am Jitendra Kumar. Okay, I am presenting concept of multicorinity and its staff. And first thing is, what is the multicorinity? And it is just one violation of assumption of classical linear regression model. Classical linear regression model. Okay. It is assumed under the classical linear regression model there is a no correlation among the explanatory variable that is the um, independent variable. Suppose consider a regression model y i equal to beta 1, beta 2, x to i plus beta 3 x 3i plus ui this is you can see here this is the regression model okay according to classical linear regression model you can see y is dependent variable x 2i x 3i is independent variable but x 2i and x 3i are explanatory, explanatory variable. Explanatory variable is also called independent variable. Okay, according to classical reg, uh, classical linear regression model, assume there is a no correlation between these two explanatory variable that is x2 and x3. Okay. So that's uh, it means classical linear regression model assuming there is a no multicorinity problem. But now what is the multicorinity problem when it violate the assumption of classical linear regression model? They, <coughs> there is a no correlation between uh, explanatory variable x2, x, uh, x2 and x3. Yeah, that is there. There is a no correlation between the two explanatory variable but now multicorinity what is the meaning what is the problem of multi collier collinearity it is a very simple it in the case of multicorinity and it indicate presence of high correlation high correlation between explanatory variable Okay, there is a high correlation between x2i and x3i uh, that is the explanatory variable is a called problem of multicorrelity. Okay, which is the violation of assumption of classical linear regression model. Okay, now absence of multicorrelity as a classical linear regression model assume there is a no correlation between explanatory variable now types of multicorinity there are two types of multicorinity first perfect multicorinity and second kinds in perfect multicorinity okay and classification of division of multicollinearity depend upon degree and extent of relationship formed between the explanatory variable now one by one let us see the first one is perfect multi correlity problem perfect perfect multi collinearity what is the perfect perfect multicollinearity okay in the case of perfect multicollinearity okay explanatory variable are perfectly correlated with each other it imply the 
कॉफिशियंट ऑफ को रिलेशन बिटवीन एक्सप्लेनेटरी वेरिएबल इज वन वाई वन देर इज ए परफेक्टली को रिलेशन परफेक्ट को रिलेशन इज ए फॉन्ड एमंग द एक्सप्लेनेटरी वेरिएबल दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम दिस दिस इज अ कॉल्ड मल्टी कॉलिनेटी सपोज डैट एंड को रिलेशन ऑफ कॉफिशियंट इज ए फॉन्ड बिटवीन एक्सप्लेनेटरी वेरिएबल इज ए वन इन द केस ऑफ मल्टी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ मल्टी कॉलिनेटी सपोज कंसिडर आर एग्रेशन मॉडल कंसिडर आर एग्रेशन मॉडल consider our regression model and now that suppose that y is the quantity demanded which is the function of two variable x to 2i x of 3i okay here y is quantity demanded x to 2i is the price of commodity x 3i is the income of consumer okay income of consumer uh, now consider a regression model y i equal to a1 plus a2 x 2 i plus a3 supposing considering okay uh, x 3 i plus disturbance term you can see a1 is the intercept a2 is a slope of price x to i a3 is the slope of income x3 i and ui a stochastic error term that is the disturbance term now it is a <coughs> suppose a2 less than 0 what is it imply a2 what is the a2 in this regression model slope of price x to i x to x to i is the price there is a inverse relationship that is the negative relationship that's the why a2 is the less than 0 now a3 is the greater than 0 because income of consumer and quantity demanded relationship between income of consumer and quantity demanded is a positive that's the why a3 is a greater than 0 now now assuming there is perfect multi collinearity relationship between the explanatory variable that is x to i and x 3 i such that such that suppose such that 3 i equal to 300 minus 2 <coughs> 8 <coughs> minus 2 300 minus 2 x i x to y it is the showing the relationship between uh, x uh, income and uh, price of commodity here income refer to real income suppose that suppose that we are consuming 1 uh, kg sugar and price of 1 kg sugar is 100 rupees suppose that price of sugar fall down by 50% and now price is price is sugar is 50 rupees uh, indirectly my real income will increase as a 50 rupees okay like that this type of relationship is reflecting by this equation now regress x3 i on x2 i we get coefficient of determination denoted by r squared equal to 1 and this value is a substituting in this equation regression model now x uh, y i equal to a1 plus a2 x2 i plus a3 x3 i equal to 300 300 minus 2 x2 times x2 i plus disturbance term u now arrange it a1 plus a2 x2 i plus 300 a3 minus 2 a3 x2 i plus u i okay now rearrange it constant putting together 
a1 plus 300 a3 and this term this term putting together a2 x2 i minus 2 a3 x2 i plus disturbance term now this equation i am <laughs> going to write upper part of this board due to a scarcity of a space here okay now y i equal to a1 plus 300 a3 and you can take common x to i in these two term it become inside bracket a2 minus 2 a3 times x to i plus u i is the disturbance term okay now supposing i am uh, assuming c1 equal to a1 plus 300 a3 and c2 equal to a2 minus 2 a3 this is suppose now our original regression equation become c1 plus c2 x2 i plus u i now it become we can easily estimate the parameter c1 c2 easily okay using the ol applying the ols method least square method but we cannot obtain all the parameter a1 a a1 a2 a3 a1 a2 a3 unique value of these three parameter in presence of multi coordinate we cannot get the unique value of three parameter original parameter a1 a2 a3 but we can get c1 c2 indirect parameter you can call it in the case of perfect multi coordinate estimation and hypothetic test of individual uh, <coughs> individual regression coefficient in multiple regression model is not possible okay now second term is imperfect multi coordinate one type uh, one types is perfect multi coordinate another type is imperfect multi coordinate imperfect im perfect what is the imperfect multi coordinate usually we in a v it is also called near multi coordinate high multi coordinate usually we counter a near and high multi coordinate that is the imperfect multi coordinate in this case explanatory variable that is the independent variable are approximately linearly linearly related okay and high multi coordinate is the case of near and uh, you can say it high imperfect multi coordinate and whenever we uh, whenever we say the problem of multi coordinate it is uh, always referred to the problem of near and high multi coordinate that means uh, there, uh, <coughs> there is a uh, uh, explanatory variable are approximately linearly related to each other okay let's us consider a regression model y i equal to b1 plus b2 and assuming there is a imperfect multi coordinate between the explanatory variable here we are assuming imperfect multi coordinate between uh, between explanatory variable that is the independent variable x 2i plus b2 b not beta only b and you can write you are free to use any english alphabet letter 
b1 b2 b3 x3 i u you can see it is the regression model there are two explanatory variable x2 i x3 i supposing as previous one price and income of consumer this is price this is income and this is error term okay it is intercept and it is dependent variable dependent variable okay and you can see here because we already have assumed there is a imperfect multi collinearity between explanatory variable so then this uh, regression model can be, uh, can be solved by applying of ols method in other word we can say parameter beta uh, b1 b2 b3 okay b3 all all can be estimated okay all can be estimated just applying of ols method okay in the case of imperfect multi collinearity so this is the video for multi collinearity in it tap i hope you, you will enjoy, you will enjoy and you have enjoy this video and share as much as you can and thanks for watching my video till end jai hind